the Sonicure Ultrasonic Aspirator from Freelance Surgical Limited. The Sonicure Aspirator has been designed specifically for veterinary surgery and combines the most advanced technologies, making surgery or tough surgery safer and less invasive. Minimally invasive surgeries can be performed for crushing, emulsification and aspiration of tissues and bone cutting. The Sonicure has a vibrating metal tip in the ultrasonic range and is used in surgeries to crush, emulsify and aspirate the target site, as well as to cut bone. During surgeries, elastic tissues such as blood vessels or nerves can be conserved selectively and consequently the damage to affected animals can be minimised. The following steps are to help guide you through the setup of the Sonicure tubing and filter system. Attach the suction filter to the back of the Sonicure generator. Ensure that the barrel of the filter fits firmly into the metal clip and attach the blue connector onto the connector port on the right hand side of the generator. Attach the filter tubing to the vacuum port in the centre of the suction bottle. It's really important that the lid of the suction bottle is secured firmly afterwards. Ensure that the filter tubing is not kinked at the filter housing itself. Next, take the patient line. The patient line divides into two parts. Part 1 has a sharp attached for connecting to the fluid bag and part 2 connects to the patient connector on the suction bottle. Both cables have two rubber stoppers on each line which play an important role. Line 1. Connect the sharp into the fluid bag port. Locate the stopper on this line, open the door to the peristaltic pump and position the rubber stopper at the top of the peristaltic wheel to draw the saline solution from the fluid bag. Ensure that the door of the peristaltic pump is firmly shut once the tubing is in place. Attach the second line to the patient connector and ensure that the rubber stopper on this line is positioned with the stopper on the right hand side of the suction valve with the tubing positioned between the black valve and the white stopper. The positioning of the tubing in the suction valve is an important feature as it enables the tubing to be crimped when the generator is placed into the standby mode. When standby is selected, the white stopper pops out and crimps the tubing. The remaining tubes attach to the Sonicure handpiece. Before assembling the handpiece, the surgeons will need to decide which ultrasonic tip they're wishing to use, depending on whether they want to emulsify tissue, soft tissue, or to cut through bone. There are three soft tissue tips available, a narrow soft tissue tip, a large soft tissue tip, and also a spatula tip. These are donated by CS1, CS2 and CS3. For hard tissue orthopaedic surgery, there are again three different bone tip options. We have the standard bone tip, we then have the large bone tip and also a saw tip. These are donated by CH1, CH2 and CH3 respectively on the tips of the sonotrode. Each tip has its own corresponding guard it's essential that the surgeon select the correct tip and guard together for the surgery. Remove the handpiece carefully from the packaging and attach the large silver guard onto the handpiece and push it into place with a positive pressure. Next, select the most suitable tip for the surgery to be undertaken. Hand tighten the tip onto the handpiece. It is essential that the handpiece is further tightened using a combination of a standard wrench and the torque wrench which is, which is provided in the kit. By holding the handpiece in your non-dominant hand, Attach the standard wrench onto the bottom of the Sonicure tip. 
Place the torque wrench directly above the standard wrench. A separate slot on the tip will allow for the torque wrench to be positioned. Ensure that the arrow is facing towards you and turn the torque wrench in the direction of the arrow. The torque wrench will produce a single click which ensures that the tip is tightened appropriately onto the handpiece. Next attach the smaller silver fluid guard with the connector facing upwards and finally attach the tip guard over the tip securely. The two remaining patient tubes can now be connected into the handpiece. The large diameter suction lumen attaches onto the back of the handpiece and the small diameter lumen, which is a fluid, attaches onto the fluid guard connector. Important, if using the Sonicure patient tubing multiple times, please ensure that the ends of the two lumen are kept trimmed so that these can make a positive connection onto the handpiece. A plastic pigtail should also be attached onto the fluid and the handpiece cable to prevent the tubing from kinking at this point. Attach the handpiece then to the generator and power on. Before surgery can begin with the Sonicure unit, the machine or the generator needs to be primed fully. The generator switched on and the tubing attached to the fluid bag, press the prime button on the right hand side of the generator to run the sterile saline through the tubing to the handpiece. The handpiece is then ready to use. When not in use, the generator will switch to a standby mode. The foot pedal will power the active blade. Suction will be achieved by removing your foot from the pedal. Disassembly of the Sonicure handpiece and cleaning of the tubing. Post-surgery, to assemble the handpiece, press the standby button on the generator if not already selected. Remove the tip cover and put this to one side for cleaning. Remove the fluid cover from the handpiece by stretching the tubing over the tip of the handpiece itself. The tubing will stretch over the tip. Using the standard wrench, hold the handpiece in your non-dominant hand and attach the wrench to the bottom of the, the tip and turn anti-clockwise to undo. Disconnect the handpiece tubing from the back of the handpiece and at the fluid connector and join the two tubes together. Push the wider looming into the narrow looming to lock the two together to complete a circuit. Remove the generator from the standby mode by depressing the prime button. Ensure that there is sufficient saline in the fluid bag before priming the generator to remove any remaining blood or debris. Allow the saline fluid to run clear through the tube and into the suction canister. Once this is achieved, finally disconnect the fluid bag and remove the tubing from the peristaltic pump and the suction pump to remove any residual fluid. If you hold the needle lumen up into the air, you should hear air passing through the needle down through the tubing and any residual fluid will then be returned into the canister. During surgery, it is recommended that no items are left on top of the Sonicure generator when the actual Sonicure is in use. Tip selection for the Sonicure unit. The soft tissue tip and large soft tissue tip are recommended for use for soft tissue procedures, particularly cholecystectomies and tumour removal. The hard tissue tips are recommended for hernia laminectomies, nasal bone removal, and also the saw tip is recommended for bone plasties and craniotomies. The tips for bone are useful for bone cutting in the vicinity of nerves, blood vessels or dura mater. 
Additional to, uh, addition of torsion movement to longitudinal vibration increases the crushing power and achieves better operability during cutting. The control panel of the Sonicil generator is a touch screen. Surgeons are able to increase or decrease the power settings by percentage, increase their irrigation percentage by using the plus or minus button, and also increasing and decreasing the suction level during procedures. Further information on the Sonic Hill Generator can be found on the Freelance website www.freelance-surgical.co.uk